Hey guys, do you hear that? It's Zombie Grub! Woo! I mean, I thought we were on this entire time, so that's awkward. Oh. Wait, did you actually, or? Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't sure. I told you we were muted, and then I asked about your family. Um, I might have missed it while transferring my audio output. Okay, well, either way, Zombie Grub's here, and now we're live, so hello. Unfortunately, for all the zombie group fans out there, she could probably only stick around for this one best of five, but it's not a bad one. It's Scarlet versus True, after all. And more to the point, it's a qualifying match. The finals of the winner's bracket. Cool. Fun. I like some of these people. You know, like one or two North Americans, I guess. <laughs> I guess the Skype call wasn't muted. <laughs> what? Yes, it was. For like one second, it wasn't. <laughs> um, but yeah, Scarlet's been on away for 10 minutes, and I don't know if they've done vetoes yet. I hope they don't assume they've won. Alright, we're done. Bye. Well, I, it's top two. I think they know that know. much. And there wouldn't be a double elimination bracket otherwise, so. Yeah, uh, we would be silly. Yeah. I mean, she might just straight up want a break after, like, that was a. Uh, did you see any of the games just now versus Neeb? Nah. She did weird stuff. She she started Bly, middle of the series, went full on Scarlet, and finished Bly. It's the best way I can describe that. So my question is, having okay. said that, can you guesstimate about what happened throughout the series? Well, I'm pretty sure that last game was either an early pool or a proxy hatch. I'm just like, auto GG'd out. It was a proxy hatchery. You are correct. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, that's how the series I, started as well. Yeah, I guess that's what started it too. And am I going full Scarlet? Do you mean throwing a game? <laughs> no, going Queen, <laughs> Mask Queen, and Fester. That's BM. Oh, Monk. I saw a Mask Queen. <laughs> what? You know, I wasn't sure. <laughs> Alright, let's leave this. I'm gonna host with the mod. What mod? WCS. <laughs> Okay. Look at this. I've been I've been going full zombie gob all night, dude. I've had to host all these lobbies and invite a million people who are slow as hell. Scarlet had me like on ignore or something, so I couldn't invite her for the first half of the night. <laughs> it's really frustrating. Oh, she doesn't like people not on her friends list? Yeah. Uh... Feels bad, man. And then we have to have these like Team Liquid referees in all the lobbies, too. So they've been like extra people we have to get in. Yeah, I saw that for a second. Uh, gotta get out no gaming. Cool. The baguettes. Baguette. Mike Jigger. All right. So yeah, we got Zombie Grub here for the finals. Whoop whoop whoop. Hooray! I'm like 99% sure those hearts are for you. Well, yeah. I just called her waifu. <laughs> Feels bad, man. <laughs> Can't even get her to like add me to friends list, but she's just like <laughs> macking on you the second she joins in the lobby. Hey -o. Uh True's like on the way now though. Or oh, I can't invite him. Uh, I gotta make this dude ref. I can't invite True. Gonna make Seeker host. Oh, round of applause! Is that for me? It's for both of us, probably. Oh, I wasn't. I didn't have that up. You know what? You you can read this one out if you'd like. Well, uh, give me a second. Okay, I'm here. Fifteen dollars forty-seven. Oh, wait. No, this is for me. This is mine. I have to read it. Uh, okay. The forty-seven is also just resub for six months. What a beast. And he says, I know a bunch of people keep giving you crap about it, but I personally think you've been producing some of the funniest content lately. Last couple of weeks have been rough for me, and the channel's been a welcome reprieve. Hashtag rap god waifu. I think you mean rap god husbando. Okay, first off, let's get our weird uh, weeaboo yeah. memes right. But secondly, thank you so much for the 15 bucks, dude. I'm glad to know that we can make, yeah, <clears throat> make mm, you happy. Oh. My throat has been failing me for about two and a half series, so, you know. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, the 47ness. Salutes. But uh, right now we're having some trouble because we can't get true into the game. Just to show you guys really quick so you know we're not just mucking about. We got Scarlet in the lobby. We got the admins and the other casters in the lobby. We just don't have true in the lobby. 
So that's what we are currently presently waiting on. Great. Yay. Hey, so you're going to Kings of the North, right? That's correct. Are you super excited and stoked? And I mean, is that soon, isn't it? Like next week or something? Yes, it's next week. So I'm going Saturday to Monday. Um, and I am pretty excited. I had a lot of fun in Montreal and made a lot of new friends. And of course, I'm going to see all my old friends again, too. Um, so. <clears throat> I feel bad because everyone keeps Hi. tweeting at me asking if we're going. And I'm like, no, no. Summer Cup is the. <laughs> Quit messaging me, guys. <laughs> like. Yeah. Uh, luckily, Toronto is really easy for me to get to. And uh, I checked the Airbnb prices. And while I'm going with a bunch of people now, the solo room was actually super cheap. So that would have been too it's cool. If uh, that other trip we are planning wasn't a thing, I think it could have gone. But I don't think it could have uh, done both. Yeah, sure. Yeah. When, do we know when we're allowed to talk about that, by the way? This is, like, really frustrating. We have to be all vague we're about not. this. Like... Okay. <laughs> So, there's a thing happening after BlizzCon that we're going to announce at some point. Wow, the secrets. Announcements of announcements. <laughs> I just hate it because it's like, I want to tell people. Yeah, I, I would like to tell everyone plans and shit, too. But, eh, I mean, it can't be that much longer until they can announce it, right? I mean, it's... Cash Brown Esports. Announcements two weeks before the day of. I don't know. All right. Dawson Station going to be the first map in this best of five finals, guys. Ready to Shit. go. I asked Scarlett a question. I didn't even see your response. I think she said yes. Was it, will you marry me? <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Yes. A million times. Yes. Uh, <coughs> I would love you. Know I, I mm. almost wish like I was I, like if, if I was, we, we had this talk before, right? Like if I was a girl, but I was like still me as a girl, I would still be like the goofball or whatever. Right. And I think I would just start answering questions with like, <laughs> as if you'd been asked to be married. Just to annoy people straight up, like. Yes. Yes. Did you get a lobby yes. invite? Yes. Yes. A million okay. What if it's a no though? What would you do for no? Oh yeah, I think we're kind of just. I like you too, but. I like being with you, but I don't. Um, I just leave. <laughs> let Let me answer this in the opposite. Yes. Yes. A million times. Yes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Casper Cup North American Finals for the qualifiers. This will determine one player falling to the loser's bracket and the other player qualifying through to fly out to Korea and play in the Kespa Cup. Spawning in the middle, bottom right side of the map. She's pink. She's on a roll. She's Canadian! It's Scarlet! Wow, I thought you were tired. <laughs> in the top left, as the blue Zerg, we adopted him, so he's basically American. It's true. He's like the baby adoptee, though. Like, we just adopted him. Like, this is Ang Young from Arrested Development, is what this is. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Ang Young, we get it. Your name is Ang Young. Ang Young, Ang Young, Ang Young. Hello. <laughs> no, it's not that. You make no mistake, woman. I'm not tired. My throat is really sore, and I'm sure you can now see why. Yeah, apparently. I didn't realize you're so hype about a North American event. Who are you, Fear Dragon? Oh, snap. Why isn't he here? Uh, Fear I Dragon. don't know. I, I saw you in chat and I was just like, save me. I didn't see Fear Dragon in chat till y'all save me. We should yet. just ban Fear Dragon in chat, actually. I saw him make a comment and I just didn't. What if we just do the Rifkin treatment where my name is banned in chat? So if you type Rifkin, it comes up as stars, which is like Fear Dragon in stars. Or that, like either way. Also, I mean did you guys know that if you type your credit card or password in chat, it comes out in like auto filter, like it, it won't let you do it. So it comes out as a bunch of asterisks. Oh, you know how like, uh, you know, some people just, they, they really appreciate it when you do something really insignificant. Fear Dragon really appreciates when you guys acknowledge him and say hello. So if you guys could just type yeah, hello or, in chat, that'd be great. Yeah. And if you're not sure if he's listening, you can always ask it like a question, like, hello? Yeah. Yeah. You know, in case he's, he's sure, like, is that to him? Yeah. So. Just uh, letting you guys know. Anyways, we should actually probably talk about the game because that's on station ZVZ is going to get heated up pretty quickly. Uh, and it, as you can see, it already has like 
yes, you can go for speed, and in some cases it's still better to go for speed. Uh, you know, it can be safer sometimes, and also just like later on it could be a lot more useful when the rocks are all broken down. But you do occasionally see people skip it, so that's what Scarlet's doing right here. Uh, True is going for it as well uh. as a Roach Warren. Uh, honestly, like the amount of Roach Scarlet was getting was able to get this early probably would have been that scary anyway. But it is something that, like, okay, she has roaches I don't quite yet. Might have been scary with these chokes. He's getting a lot of lings now. Well, I like the Ravager. Who who was it we saw the other day? They got, like, five kills with one shot. Oh, it was, like, a laser, I think. Wasn't it Chan Kim? Oh, no, you're right. I think it was the laser. That wasn't no, it was ZV ZVZ. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Chan Kim only plays ZVTs, as we're aware. But regardless, she doesn't get, quite get that sick hit. But she does deny mining for a bit. She's also going to have her own mining deny. She's already abandoning ship, actually. Not wanting to present any threat to the mineral line. Queens go down. Roach is trying to hold the ramp to the best of the capabilities. She's still pushing off mining that gold. So even when it comes to incomes, they're both shut down mining. Yeah, a little bit funny here. So, I mean, True was breaking on the rocks for like a second and then went for his attack. So that's a little disappointing for him. I mean, as long as they're both not mining, it's, you know, even game. Of course, Scarlet goes back to mining as she sees the lings uh, go she's, away. And this is just she's doing great. super annoying. I mean, this is why you want to break down the rocks so desperately badly. She's a little bit too close to the Ravagers getting hit by the Roaches. But, I mean, once the rocks break down, she's going to lose that Ravager to the Speedlings. Either way, again, just denying mining. It's For every minute that goes by, she's getting an extra 200 to 300 minerals over her opponent. She's coming with slow lings. She's yeah, ready to well, fight. Yeah, you can provide some fodder either way. And she does have a, she's had a better economy for the last minute for sure. Maybe even like minute and a half here. Up 300, 400 minerals. But is it really reflected in the army count quite yet? I mean, kind of? Oh god, that one Ravager's pelting now. <laughs> the rocks are yeah. breaking down. <laughs> the rocks end up hurting quite a bit uh, for true. But regardless, Scarlet doesn't have enough momentum. There's no speed on these links, so they get into the front lines really slow. There's not a ton of roaches out. So she's got the numbers to take a fight, but they're not all here's the problem. Hmm. Man, apparently True's back in Korea already. We kicked that guy out of our country fast. <laughs> Anyang, it's all you ever say. Goodbye. I don't remember how to say in Korean. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize uh, Trump was already president. Hey what is this queen doing out here? When did she come here? Taking a hike. It's fine. She's gonna die. That's why you don't take hikes alone. You get mauled by little bears. Those are not bears. Instead of one big bear, you get mauled by tiny, tiny, tiny little ones. I would love, okay, you know what we need to do one of these casts? Is never refer to any <laughs> units by their actual name, but just like other animals that they may resemble. It's like, oh, she's making a ton of bears right now. <laughs> About to get encountered by some manatees. Those she manatees. She killed a bear with her bear hands. <laughs> and that's why she has that trophy portrait. The Second Amendment of the United States is the right to bear arms. It's true. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Uh, attacking in here again, like, this is still not going tremendously in her favor, despite what was a very good denial of a gold base. Like, she, she, there was no mistaking, she was up in economy for at least a minute, but it hasn't ever really reflected in the army counts. Yeah, I mean, defender's this... advantage can sometimes be, like, wishy-washy on Dasson Station, as it is so quick to counterattack and whatnot, but True's holding, and Scarlet, yeah, okay, she's like, okay, I'm done with that, let's join. Look at all these people trying to greet Fear Dragon in chat. What a bunch! Of, what a friendly bunch of people we got at Base Trade TV. Right? The Base Trade Brigade is the friendliest bunch of folks I know. It really is. Next time we we host Fear Dragon, just we'll do a hello, hello raid. We'll do a greeting raid. Hello. 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 Team. <laughs> All right, so Scarlet once again takes a couple drone losses, but this is actually going to get way worse for her. We talked about Defender's Advantage a moment ago, but funny enough, I don't think hers is going to kick in. Because she did try to get drones out, and that would have been a massive lead if True never attacked, she didn't get the chance to get that army up. So right now, there's yeah. some roaches on the way, some more slow, again, slow lings coming out. She's losing guess... queens. GG. Yeah, I guess she maybe, you know, is kind of calling a bluff. I don't know if that's the right saying right there, but like... They kept on trading armies, you know? There was never one point where someone was, like, supremely ahead, and I guess she assumed that maybe True was going to try and drone, which was wrong, and Dasan Station does not allow you a mistake like that. No, certainly not, but... Oh, damn it, I forgot. They gave us the lobbies to host uh, Sejong. I got it. I got it! We're going to break. Well, we'll go to do break. you want me to host? No, I got it. I'm a big boy. Two minutes. See you guys soon. <laughs> I'm the biggest fucking boy. Oh, wait. I'm not muted. Wait.
All right, we're back. And if anyone heard my gaff during the ads, shut up. Uh, in the top left side of the Kespa Cup Grand Finals, this is a qualifying match. Really want to emphasize that. He leads 1-0. It's the red Zerg player true. In the bottom right, as the pink Zerg. She's Scarlet. <laughs> I love Twitch chat so much, by the way. <laughs> Three minutes ago, I love Twitch chat, is what I should say. It happens again, that delay. Just make sure you get double the. <clears throat> it's just, the it's so good. Like, look how friendly. Like, everyone is friendly greeting Fear Dragon and checking in on him. Like, hello, are you okay? type thing. And he's he's just not reciprocating oh, the love. Oh, yeah, they're not. All right, so Scarlet is going for an early pool, and this is, of course, worth noting. What's interesting, though, is that on, it's on King Sejong, which. I mean, I guess I'm not a, a pro ZVZ or anything like that, but it's it's actually surprisingly no, low number. In fact, we see a lot more often those faster third bases, which is the complete opposite. And some of that has to do with how quickly you can scout the natural base and how safely you can do it too, since you can put your overlord over water and make sure it doesn't get sniped. The one trick to this would be that Scarlet is pretty well known for going for the third base as the natural, and I wonder if True would even know that. I don't think that's why she's doing it. She's like going for like grand mental game or anything like that, but um, it is just like an early pool as in like, you know, I hope I'm, I'm surprising my opponent who should be going for a macro build, which True did. Uh, I don't think it was the greediest one he could have done, but it actually, you know, it might have been. His gas is already done. I'm not sure I didn't see the timing, but yeah, this pool's only just finished. The Ling's wrapped around the uh, Overlords, only just now showing themselves. Well, if this actually catches True off guard, I'll be impressed. But he does have his own Ling's on the way, and this should, this should only be like momentary damage. Uh. All right, so this is where the easy Overlord Scout on her natural is like really beneficial for True. Um, he can see that she did, in fact, take a natural, which is, uh, you know, far different than if she had gone for a bailing nest and, like, the all-in of all-ins, you know? So he's gonna go ahead and try and save this. Now, speed is going to finish, so he needs Ling support absolutely for his drones, but, yeah, I don't think he would've... Yeah, I don't think he should've lost his hatchery. Um, and at this rate, of course, the, he won't. It's too healthy. Like, I'm wondering if the drone... Like, the drone pull is actually being a perfect response right now, but it also feels like a bit of an overreaction. Scarlet, almost, right? Scarlet's actually mining. Look, look at that! Almost 300 minerals per minute more than True, and True's been spending so much time tentatively out here. He's not going back to mining for such a while. Yeah, it is. Ooh, yeah, she was especially the since he saw the hatchery. But of course, he's also been seeing Ling still continuing to come out. So like, it was this hard line to to make. I think of like, do I under defend and die, or over defend and lose economy? And he's still up drones. So over defending for that little bit of time was still probably a lot better than making a mistake otherwise. Well, she's going to get a Banley Nest, and looks like she's not planning to drone much behind this. I think this is actually a really effective use of the Ling she already has. I mean, not just because, okay, she's got Lings, but there's a lot of low-health Lings that she could transform into full-health Banelings, and this would turn things around quite a bit, but hoping that True doesn't attack in the meantime, he can't, she or she can't take a fight against him because his Lings have too much health. Yeah. Okay, well, I said that he saw the hatchery, but you know, his his overlord went a little bit too far out to see that it's not getting droned up. But she hasn't exactly been hiding a lot of lings. Oh no, she's been hiding some. Well, more defensively than hiding. I'm yeah, I don't I, I'm just trying to guess this this true guess that there's a bailing that's on the way. Actually, no bailings whatsoever either side. They just start trading all lings. Yeah. I'm sexy. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Ling fight goes really scrappy over here, but True doesn't come out with enough to follow anything up with. In fact, she cleans the last two Lings. Uh, she has the solid as dub for pieing me in the face. Big love, dude. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Uh, the the fight here, though, is still not one easily won. Like, even if she gets these Banelings in, the Queen can focus one of them down. So... Oh, oh, unless oh, True gets a little too close for comfort. Oh, that's she gets... so many chance fuses on it. Yeah, she surrounds the other queen as well with no ranged attack to stop these banlings. This is where Scarlet starts getting a lot of power with the engagement. Think... Focus on the hatchery. She may have done this. The lings aren't... I think so. Oh, she's going for the main instead of the hatchery. I actually think this is a great choice. She doesn't even have to waste the banlings on it. She should probably save all those banlings for any amount of lings. Just use her lings to surround the queens as seen here and just kill those drones slowly but surely. So I think the biggest problem was that True didn't think that the Bailey Ness is on the way. 
I mean, they were trading Lings and only Lings for so long, and then his Overlord wasn't over the four main Banelings. It was just seeing the Ling reinforcements, not the Banelings, and that... That's probably what cost him the game, as well as some missed micro and just, you know, not anticipating the oh actual attack itself, failings or not, letting that queen get surrounded. He tried to go for the counterattack, which is the best it's... of a bad scenario, but it's not going to work out. No, the bailing, the bailing, the bailing, looking for a decent hit, gets a somewhat good one. It's good enough, at least. True on four drones has no way to recover. GG gets called. Woo-wee. Scarlet oh. ties it up. 1-1. One, one. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so glad Haru SOS clipped that moment. <laughs> now people who aren't subscribed to the channel can see it. Great. Great. Thanks a lot. The smile is one that's like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I imagine I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. Uh, anyways, what's the next map? I got to host this up. Galactic. All right, uh, stick around, guys. We'll see you in a couple minutes. Hey, guess what? We can't play ads, so I'm just going to let this play out anyways. <laughs> There's no actual commercial break going down, though, so don't feel guilty if you're not seeing a commercial, because <laughs> there's no ads to play. I'm just gonna get everyone in the lobby. Actually, Zombie went to BRB anyways. You can just watch the process of laggily inviting everyone to the game. Ugh. Let's see Seeker. I think Hailstorm's already in here. I'm gonna say you okay you're here nice got it um and then I'm gonna make him host so if anyone gets left out it's not my fault Okay, here we go. I don't know if you heard what you got. Went away. I uh, we can't play ads. <laughs> so we're just getting into the game. Galactic right process. <clears throat> How do you feel about this being galactic process instead of new galactic process? Is it called new galactic process usually? It was in the map test tournament. Well, it makes no sense to call it new when there's no old one, so. I like this. Okay, that's some solid logic, and I have no way to rebuttal. So, Good. ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> is she doing an extractor trick? Or is it actually gas? We'll find out! It's Scarlet! Oh, boy. In the bottom left, as the red Zerg, it is true... Man, she messed up that extractor trick pretty bad. You're supposed to I know, cancel right? it and then build more drones, not finish it, mine gas about a spawning pool. You'd think after like seven years of playing StarCraft, she would know better. That's an embarrassing mistake to make. Did she even, she hasn't even played seven years of StarCraft. She plays much so much StarCraft that it's like she played seven years of StarCraft. <laughs> Except for the, like, the six months where she didn't play StarCraft at all. So... Yeah. I didn't rebuttal your thing. Why uh, you gotta do it to me, girl? I'm this, like seven years. This Start gotta be has been out for seven years. There's gotta be some tit for tats. <laughs> no well, tits for no tats. <laughs> I like tats on tits though. I'll tell you that much. They look classy. All right. <laughs> it's a classy way to impress your man. <laughs> Lots of you know what you you people are like Rifkin's the one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the links are on the way in galactic process like Cloud Kingdom. Oh wait, I don't, where was I going with this? Galactic process like has two different Cloud pathways Kingdom. you can take, god damn it. 
I was has just... two different pathways you can take. So initially she can hide her links just like King Sejong, but then the reinforcements will be shown. I just would like to finish the statement here where everyone claims it's Rifkin who dethrones the broadcast. <laughs> would like to point out, not me this time. This is just NA broadcast, all right? <laughs> it is, actually. I hate to say it. We have no one to blame other than the NA server itself. It's but true. Thank you, Hamel Camel, for pieing me in the face. Lings do get over here pretty quick. True's going to pull drones once again. And, I mean, it wasn't a huge impact. And it wasn't devastating. But him having to pull drones the way he did last time really did affect his economy. It took away a lot of money and gave Scarlet more power because of it. But she's come with a much earlier banliness this time around. And True wasn't expecting it last time. We'll see if he's ready for it this time. Uh, well, actually, he sees revealed. it now. Yeah, thanks, Scarlet. <laughs> he, well, he also saw that there was an, uh, a hatchery put down, so I think he knew Bailing should have been on the way. Uh, Bailing's still uh, close to finishing. Three of them coming on that ramp. Queens can focus the Bailings pretty easily, but the Bailings don't care about the Queens. They're looking to zone out the Lings. Well, they're going awfully close to the Queens. Well, it's because she has to still protect them. Like, the one Ling pull off at a time is something True's trying to do, and it's not quite working, so she's going to walk away from this. And I think that's actually a great choice. Yeah, um, I mean, she's the one that's going to have speed for at least like 30 more seconds, it looks like. So she's going to have a lot of control over the game. And she's the one that's still going to have banelings. And, and True's not going to try and go over his own banelings, which is, I would say, pretty risky. Uh, you know, that is a hundred few more minerals you can put in the lings. And, you know, Gassy doesn't have to mine, but that's pretty dangerous stuff. Spine crawler on the higher ground is very helpful, though. And in fact, Scarlet seems like she's just been rebutted here. <laughs> but. Uh, unless all the lings run into one banling, then, you know, good. that goes pretty well for Scarlet. Now, yeah. keep in mind, she's still down a hatchery. Like, this looks really good at a glance. Some of these fights are flashy, but she's still not winning this just yet. The drone count's not terrible, but she's trying to drone instead of continuing with the all-in, and I'm questioning this choice because, well, she could take the hatchery, and maybe she catches up in drones. I think the, the time difference in banling gives her a lot of power. She shouldn't have to worry, like, it shouldn't die to a counterattack, I feel, or a regular attack, that is, she's not attacking herself anymore. Um, because she does have Banelings, but, you know, she still, she mines so much gas, but isn't getting any more. So, yeah, whereas two Banelings would have stopped this from happening, she's actually going to lose the Ling fight, it looks like, without the help of her queen, and that's, that's pretty bad news. It also means that her hatchery is not forming when really it should be if she had Banelings already made on the defensive. In fact, she might have just screwed up so big right here, not getting banelings, that it might be game over. No, okay, the drones actually don't die while killing them. That was that was that, that was, was really good surprising. drone drilling, actually. Yeah, <laughs> that was really like, surprising. A lot of them are pretty low. Like literally, not a single drone die. That was really well handled. Yeah, I really thought because like seriously, even if four go down right there, combined with everything else that's going poorly for her, that would have been pretty big. But to no none of them to go down, the queen didn't go down. Like. That's pretty impressive stuff. So she's still in the game, and she still has Banelings to take care of any future Ling run buys. But at this point, yeah, she would want to have be droning as much as possible. Uh, also getting a scout, which might be difficult for her to do. We know there's a Roach run on the way, and True might be very aggressive with that, but she does not. Well, I, I like a lot of what Scarlet's able to do when it comes to control, but at some point, the game might just be a unit issue where it, she doesn't have plus one like Cats does and other players. Like it's, If it's just Lings and a couple of Banes versus Roaches, if True can get above eight, he'll be fine, I think. Yeah, I would say eight's a pretty good number. Or, um, you know, honestly, you could probably move out before eight just because there's no Overlord covering. <laughs> Uh, his move outs and he could actually just entirely avoid the overlords until he's right in her face and uh, by that time I mean hopefully he can get a, a corner or an edge to, to go up against but he's waiting for a lot more than just uh, eight going up to ten just Ooh. reinforced with lings I expect after that Croc since been saving esports for seven months thank you very much I'm sexy stop it <laughs> It's like combination seeing my stupid face get by in that stupid sound bite. Oh, uh, Scarlet's making a ton <laughs> of lings here. She might be trying to follow up all in, which would be great if True is either being really greedy and going for nothing but lings still, no banelings, which he never did get, but also if he wasn't going for roaches. Like, if he had a third trying to be put down right now, she would she would probably win. Oh god, <clears throat> this is well, uh, incorrectly. Um, she'll probably win, but True has been banking a ton of roaches, and they're just gonna be like, what's up? And she's gonna be kind of screwed. Well, I mean, that's a lot of banelings, I don't know. It's a I, lot I of explosive power. I think that's enough power. roaches, though. 
He's been getting a lot. 15? Uh, the physical wall's not good enough. She actually breaks through, but the rest of the roaches are really behind this, and GG gets called. True takes game number three. Thank you to Agent N25. S trolling me real hard there. Uh, so we're going to go to game four here in the finals. Remember, it's best of five. Didn't increase the best of seven or anything weird. So this is the actual qualifying match. True, now one game away from winning, and I need to go find where the map order is. Gettysburg into Frozen. All right, guys. Go to commercial break. This time for realsies. Thanks for watching. See you soon. All right, we had two people try to troll me during the break. <laughs> Super hype. Thanks a lot. <coughs> uh, Solid as dub, Quay, and <clears throat> Hamel Camel. Two pies greater than one pie. Mathematically proven. QED. We need pie. Everyone donate 314 now. No. I will. <laughs> I'll probably have to disable that if that's going to be the case. Uh, Maximus Black. My man, thank you so much. 19 years of saving esports with Base Trade TV. An absolutely upstanding young fan, man, gentleman. I'm done. Okay. Hey, we're in game. Uh, it's map number four for the Kespa Cup North American Qualifiers. Spotting the bottom right corner of the map. She's got one point on the board, but she's also on her last life. It's going to be Scarlet. In the bottom left as the blue Zerg. He is true. <coughs> By the way, I'm, I'm sure there's not many people here who know where that soundbite is from, but if anyone knows where the I'm sexy soundbite is from, it's part of why it's getting me so badly. <laughs> I do not know. It's probably for the best. Now, Scarlet is not doing anything weird for once. No. Well, to be honest, I... The last game's early pool felt a little bit weird. Um, not because of the map, and, and not because of, like, I, I don't know, like, it's so un-Scarlet, because it's, it's not. Uh, <laughs> but that, you know, the first one, while it worked, and that's why I think she did the second one, it didn't work super, like, oh my god, that was so easy, you know? Like, if you think about the King Sejong game, it actually looks like True was going to hold initially, right? Um, or was it King Sejong? Yeah, it's um, that he was going to hold initially, and then uh, just got a little surprised with the banlings. But it actually looked like she was going to lose or start, you know, <clears throat> losing basically. She was so far down in drones. So yeah, I was surprised he did the second one, but maybe going for the whole like, you know, I'd never do it twice in a row, and that's what he'd think. But True actually held it really easily, and the follow up, it was a good choice. I mean, I don't think True was anticipating Scarlet going for a baneling all in basically, but the fact that he was going for a lot of roaches worked. Basically, he's like a hard counter to that, so that was an easy win for him there. I do, I do like the idea of the double bluff, like double down and hope it works. But at the same time, being on her last life, not wanting to, have to play out the losers bracket, I'm kind of like seeing a bit more of a solid game, a little bit more of a normalized game out of Scarlet. But people um, in chat really want to know who would win in a fight between you and me. Right, well, here's the problem. It's a trend lately. It, it depends what type of fight it is. Like, are we just slugging each other with fists? Are we having a debate over intellectualism? Is this an arm wrestling competition? I don't know. So you guys have to be a little more specific because in a blanket, who would win in a fight? I would just simply say, I wouldn't fight zombie group. Like, There you go, violence is never the answer. No, I just don't want you getting your face on my hands, ugh. Wow, fine. I was gonna say I didn't want to bruise your face for stream, but Maybe now I will. <laughs> I know how to hit a person and not have the bruises show, okay? Is that what you're saying to me right now? <laughs> not the face, though. I gotta go to work tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. But not I below, think... like, you know, the stomach either. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think Zombie Girl's like, <laughs> she is Yandere, guys. <laughs> and now I'm ca it's kind of scary how Yandere she is. Oh, no, I am not the most Yandere person in, on, uh, in StarCraft. So you tell you that right now. Mm. Um, all right, so <clears throat> it's New Gettysburg, and... This is becoming a, a like very much so a third base map, but in ZVZ, never anticipate the third base being something that tells you you can drone all the time. It's not like scouting a Stargate. It's not like scouting a third CC from a Terran, where you just know it's not going to be anything. Nah, very actually more often I would say it's just a larva production facility. So, um, and they both know that. And in fact, it's true trying to you know tear down Scarlet's base. Scarlet going a little more defensive with the slower I'm roaches. Sexy. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> uh oh, she's gonna lose her third base though. 
I did say slow. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said slower roaches, and they were having trouble getting uh, through the other lings, but I, you... True had two chances to kill that. Yeah. True is not sexy. I'm surprised he didn't actually get the base down. She doesn't exactly have a lot of transfuses, so it wouldn't be like a baited fight, but those lings certainly could have finished it off just now. But perhaps hoping she's out of position and looking for a freer kill, not quite going to happen. Not with the defense here. She there does slap go. a transfuse into it, so she holds on to that third. Now the opportunity lost for True. He's going to come to the top of the ramp, and maybe the banlings clean out the lings, giving him some superiority on the battlefield. Ooh. Big hit there on the south side. And Scarlet, <gasps> oh, you have a lot oh, of trouble. Drones. drones, five of them go oh, down. Boy. He's right into the main. He's looking for some drone kills i don't think he's got enough to really massacre what scarlet has left but a good fight for true keep in mind he's still leading workers pretty hard beyond these kills 39 to 32 as scarlet just drones up a bit yeah i mean she has the units that she wants for the rest of the game you know like she's ha she has roaches true has a roach warrant too but he's going for pure ling without upgrades so could at a certain point this could fall off you know where does Sal's dub keep getting all this pie from Pie factory. Yo, he's getting it from those creepy ass clowns that are in the woods lately. You hear about that shit? There's like one no. instance what? in. Are you serious? This is happening like all over the world. I don't want to know like... about this. I live next to like a forest, man. People are saying, like, people are guessing that it's a uh, one of those kind of stunt things for the new It movie. But it's happened in West Virginia. And they've happened like North Carolina too. And the people just take pictures of creepy ass clowns in the middle of the forest in the middle of the night. <laughs> And like apparently, like some of them are like calling to children with candy to like come into the forest. I'm like, what the shit? Anyway, this was a huge attack, and Scarlet was entirely out of position. Moving forward, to those roaches was, uh, frankly, like I don't know what she was thinking she could get done with them. They're slow roaches. True. I mean, I guess she could have thought he was was being greedy again, but True was actually getting roaches himself, and this is something that she only just now scouts as she loses her third base, and now she has to defend and make up for lack of macro. I think she just lost the game. Yeah, I mean, True was maintaining a lead for a while going into this, and she just did not get any counter damage done to respond from the earlier fight. Losing that third, just, you're right, like, might be too much Ravager gets surrounded too, that would have been huge for her to have going forward. <coughs> yeah. By the way, some people were specifying arm wrestling. Fun fact, it's not even I have arm wrestled. It's true. Although I will say, I don't think I could beat her now. <laughs> what with my arm being in physiotherapy. <laughs> I got you now. <laughs> so it depends on timing. Um, this is surprisingly not that out of a hole for being down 20 army supply. Defender's advantage, some queens. Uh, like a ravager helping out a little bit here. But she needs to hold and then some. Losing that third base is absolutely devastating. Failings, get a big hit on the drones on that side. Take out that larva too, so she can't reinforce with anything else. Shout out to whoever that was. We'll get back to the donations in a second. But right now, Scarlet's life is potentially on the line. If she can't find a way to beat this back and somehow survive, she will fall to the loser's brackets. Yeah. And it's not looking good. The drones, by the way, trying desperately to mine. One one roach slowly picked them all off. Yeah. I think that's Link's it. That thing's pretty good. I mean, the weapon upgrades for Scarlet are nice, but it's not enough to overcome this, like, wing flood that's just coming across the middle of the map. Uh, it's, that is game. I do wonder, like, you know, I, I don't think her going straight up to Roach is necessarily, like, the worst thing in the world, although it is, I think, always a little bit risky, especially with how popular Ling-based styles are nowadays. But specifically on New Gettysburg, it seems like Ling floods initially are very popular. Uh, specifically to get on top of those third bases and to see her not able to counterattack was actually like very surprising because also like that just like in the current meta Scarlet I always imagine as a Ling Muta player you know like yeah. about her CBZ I mean yep. in ZBZ she was really great with Mutas when it was the only thing he could do and she just went straight up to Roaches which is something like I would expect I don't know Hyun to do <clears throat> and did not work for her I, you know, it's actually going back to the muta thing. That's just, I think, generally the best Zergs we're seeing in ZVZ are trending towards mutas. Yeah, certainly a lot of the the Ling based stuff is just it's more fun to watch in my opinion. But it also seems to be ah uh, so so much you can do with it. You know, if you, if you're good at the matchup, I don't know, like just based off of yeah. uh, you can counterattack well, if you can take Whoa. engagements well. What is this two dollar donation coming from Xkawaiian? It's this Team Zombie Grub. Hey! Rude? Hello? Apparently. If you had any idea how much this girl smack talked to you behind guy. your back, dude, I was like, I had your back at some of these <laughs> conversations. Your team zombie? Cr wow. 
I can't wait. I can't wait to mess you up with fisticuffs. I'm gonna see him at Kings of the North too. I'm just gonna I'm gonna increase this like you, you know see favoritism. The... Gonna get him like candy and shit when I'm there. You just hang out with all the cool people, whatever. <laughs> well, the amount of roaches coming for True is finally overwhelming. Scott's got plus two upgrades. She's got Ravagers, but I just. Well, she's taking some really good defenses up to this point, and I hesitate to say really good. She's taking defensive fights up to this point. I don't think she can beat this one back. Uh, the Lynx took up all the hits. The Roaches remain relatively untouched. 22 Roaches to 13. There's just no way Defender's Advantage overcomes. Crystal Bow's trying to hit these Roaches. She's being pushed back to the brink, but as stated, this is like her last match here in the winner's side. She still has the loser's bracket to go to, but it's no surprise she's not tapping out. But the game is very, very over. Yeah. Um, besides not wanting to go through losers bracket in general, because there are some scary folks down there, including me again potentially, it's also getting late for her. She's not in Korea, she's in uh, Toronto basically, so. Yeah, we were, we were talking about that earlier in the cast because I wasn't sure if she had gone back yet. I knew she was in Canada for some time, but either way, congratulations to True. He'll be going back to Korea. Keep in mind, True gave up a spot in Code S to come to North America to win a really important tournament that locked him into BlizzCon. Now he's going back to Korea to prove what he's worth in the Kespa Cup. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool to see. So while it was a pretty, it'd be nice to see Scarlet win the loser's mm -hmm. bracket. She didn't win here in the winners. And True ends up having a kind of a cool story, I think, going forward. But uh, thank you, Zombria, for joining me for that finals. Guys, there's a lot of matches in the losers still to play out. It's not super behind like normal, actually. I see a lot, there's more like three or four, so. Um, I'll go figure things out and we'll cast what we can that's remaining, but Madam, thank you for joining me. Any shoutouts before you take off? Um, let me, before that, I guess I'll just quickly check if my uncle's asleep or not. Okay. Maybe I can cast one more. Well, oh, before any God. of that, uh, we'll go to commercial break, guys, and we'll sort things. So stick around. We'll see you soon. <clears throat>